Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video I am going to show you how to add music, a background music and some sounds to your Sprite Kid games. So let's get started! We have left off on our Xcode project that we have created some buttons and that was a whole lot of code to be added. So let us just commit our code and let us type in here day 8 for the message and I will just push the remote and I will commit it by creating a new branch on my GitHub repository. Go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, next up is to create a new branch, a day 9 branch from our day 8 branch. Okay, you are most probably familiar with this. Now, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, we need to check um, some sort of a logic to enable or disable sounds and background music on our app. Maybe we will have in a future time a button that will enable or disable or turn on, turn off our music or background music and our sounds. So for that I'm going to create another singleton that will be called ACT player stats. And um, if you don't know what a uh, singleton is or you want to find out a little bit more about how to create a singleton, go ahead and take a look at my other video on the series. Okay, so let's get started and let's create a new file here. And I will call this ACT Player Stats, it's not a capital L, ACT Player Stats, let's create this. And you might be wondering why I am not using the ACT manager singleton. That is because we will use the manager to uh, make operation from, for the app and we will use the player stats to configure and set and save uh, stats for our current user, for our current player. Okay, now, as you can see here in the ACT manager class, we have imported foundation and sprite kit, so let us do that here too. Import sprite kit. You never know when you need it. So we are going to create a class ACT layer stats. And it will be well, I believe it has no super class. ACT manager. Yes, it has no super class. So we are going to initialize it private init and we are going to create a static uh, let shared and it will be of ACT layer stats. Okay, let me just double check if we have added everything. Yes, as you can see here is all we need to add. Now, next up is that we need to store our current status of the sounds in user defaults. So let us just set for the first time our uh, sound state. So func set sounds. I will just set it to state and that will be a boolean set sounds. Okay, now we are going to uh, use user defaults dot standard dot and I will just type in set and choose the bool well use one with the, the one with the bool value okay and I will just type in here state for the value and for the key I will just type in uh, there is a good practice that uh, you should not type in these keys as these strings because it's very very typo uh, uh, prone so I will just simply go up here and declare them as key sound state Let's copy that out equals that and finally we just need to get rid of these 
quotation marks. Okay, and finally we are going to uh, synchronize. So synchronization is about saving immediately. Otherwise, the system will try to save these um, info into the user defaults as it has memory or as it has the resources for it. Okay, now we have set our sounds. Let's get our sounds. So, func, uh, go back here. I will just type the function out. Func, get sound. I, it will just return a simple boolean. Okay, so return and I will just fetch the sound state from our user defaults. So user defaults get a standard first of all and a bool for key bool. It is here bool and I will just simply copy and paste my key here. Okay, that was fairly simple. Now next up is to add, let's say, let's start with a simple tap sound, okay? And for that, I will just drag and drop my resources here. I have prepared a tap sound here and a background music, okay? And for now, let us just, well, let's just move both of them into our project, okay? Here we are, make sure you have selected copy items if needed. Let's finish up that. And as you can see, we have our background music and our tap.wav file here. I want to uh, make this uh, tap sound available through all out the app. So that is why I am going to create inside our ACT uh, singleton a new new function and that is going to run our sound file so run and of course we need a file name and that will be type string and on the node and that will be an sk node okay now we need to run our uh, file name on our node so type in on node run and of course we have our sk action here sk action play sound file named we will select this one and of course you have here your sound file name and i will just type in here file name and wait for completion we will not wait for the completion of it maybe we need to have uh, sounds playing uh, uh, side by side Okay, and that is it. That is all you need to run a file uh, sound. Okay, but we have already created our logic for letting the program know if the sounds are enabled or not. So let us use that. So if ACT player stats dot shared, and uh, if you uh, recall, we have created a get sound. So if this is true, only then will we play our so now the sound will be played only when our sound status is set to true so let us just do that now so we don't get any unsuspected issues and inside our act manager uh, let's go up here and on the first launch let us just set our sound state to true. So let's type in ACT player stats dot share dot and we, this time we're going to use the set sounds of course and the state will be true. Now all we need to do is go into the simulator and delete uh, our app. I have already done so. So uh, we will run uh, our project in just a minute and this ACT uh, set sound will be triggered. Now, where do we want this tap sound to occur? Well, of course, in our BV button. And now, where do we want it to put it? Well, we wanted to put it in the touches and that because uh, that is where our action is performed. So. Let us just go here and type in ACT player stats dot and shared and 
Oh, sorry about that. Not ACT player manager, ACT player, <laughs> ACT player stats. I'm a bit confused. ACT manager dot shared dot. And here you can see we have a run file name. And I would just choose the file name. And that will be. And the node will be on self. No, simple a button. Okay, let us just test it out and see what happens and if we do have not on our, if we do have a tap sound. Okay, let's just wait for it. Okay, here we go. Let's see if everything works okay. Let me just give some sound here. And if you have heard it, then it's Okay, here we have our tap sign. Let me just go all the way up so you may hear it. So. Good stuff. And now, uh, again, this writing out everything in a string is a little bit dangerous because of the typos. So I will just introduce an enum here. And enum will be and it will be let's just uh, name it sound file name and it will be of type string okay and for the case let's just name this tap file okay and this is the name for it tap.wav okay and now we can replace the simple string in our uh, let's go back to our button here and let's just build so we may get our auto completion and now instead of our row string we will just type in here sound file name dot tap file dot row value okay and that is more typo proof now that we have taken care of our sounds all we need to do is add a background music and for that we will use AV foundations. So I will just go back here into my game view controller and import AV foundation. Okay, and now we are going to create background music variable. And I will just make it a lazy var. And it will be of type AV audio player. And of course it will be an optional. Now we need to find the path for our background music. And now we are going to use URL for resource and with extension. Okay? And the resource will be the name of our file. So background music and the extension will be mp3 okay uh, while this is a guard statement we need to add an else here and if uh, if it is doesn't exist then we will just simply return nil because we need to return something and our OV, AV audio player is an optional so we can return a nil now that we have our URL, our path to our background music, let me just fix this typo and I will just uh, give you another hint uh, that we are going to set this background music text, this string, into another constant again, so we don't get these typos. So we are going to try to play. So let us just construct a do catch statement here. Do and catch and if there is an error of some sort we will just simply return nil again and now we need to try to create our player so let player equals av audio player and this will be of contents of and as you can see it has some throws so we will just try to construct this of AV audio player and the contents of will be our URL 
Finally, we wanted this player to play continuously our background music, so we set our player's number of loops to be equal minus one and finally we return our player. Okay, good stuff. Now we have our background music. Let me just change this to a small G and I will just set this uh, inside our ACT manager. Just scroll up here. Maybe let's go to our player stats. It will be much easier. I will just set And finally, let let's just build this so we may find it inside our game view controller. And let me just delete this and type in K background music name and the extension K background music extension. Okay, good stuff. Now all we need to do is play or maybe stop our background music. So for that I am going to scroll down here and create a new function. Play or stop background music. And that will be fired whenever we tap on our future button to play. Uh, or stop our sounds inside our gameplay. So if ACT player stats and now we are going to check if the sounds are already set uh, to true. So let me just give you some room here. Shared dot get sound. So if we do have our sounds set uh, to true then we are going to simply Go ahead and type in background music dot play. Or if we set it to false, then we just simply stop it. Background music stop. So let us just go and copy this out and up on the view did load. Let's just play stop background music of course because our sound state is set to true in our ACT manager this will start our uh, music so let us just build now and see what happens and as you can hear we have our background music playing good stuff Okay, that is all for adding background music and sounds into your Sprite Kit games. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, go ahead and share it with your friends or tweet it out to the internet or maybe just give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, which I would highly recommend to get new videos from me, go ahead and subscribe down below. And I will see you in the next one.